Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, January 17, 2021. Free play in the NFL coming up on this report. I'll get to that in just a moment. Sincere appreciation for those of you who jumped on board with that eight-star playoff game of the year yesterday as we cashed with the Green Bay Packers and they knocked off the Rams 32-18. to We completed what I like to call the Grand Slam of the football season. We had four eight-star plays, two in college, two in the NFL. We won all four and we won all of them by double digits so a real nice eight star season going four and oh and uh, now we can get rid of the playoff growth over the last few days a little superstition there to grow it out for the playoff eight star play it'll be gone by the time you see me next on these videos but again uh, real sincere appreciation but we still got more work to do on Sunday I do have one play on Sunday's NFL card a premium play over on my homepage at DocSports.com as we go for the sweep in the NFL and also uh, I wanted to mention yesterday we cashed in the NBA. We're going to go for the weekend sweep today. Uh, top rated play in basketball, not college today, but actually the NBA. Five star play. It's backed by a 22 and 5 winning situation that I reveal in my analysis uh, with that pick. And in the, again, this is a, one of my favorite spots during the course of the NBA season. You'll be able to see what it is if you jump on board and purchase that NBA play over at DocSports.com. Five star play in the NBA. We go for the pro basketball sweep. Two and two yesterday overall in basketball. As I mentioned, we won in the NBA. A rare losing day in college basketball as I went one and two. Uh, lost the top play with Illinois. They got knocked off by Ohio State. Uh, so we'll be right back in action on Sunday and I've got a great situation, a great information game that I posted for Sunday's card. It's a four-star play in college hardwood action. But a fantastic season, but I did go one and two in college yesterday. So we've got uh, one more premium play in the NFL to go. That's on Sunday. Sunday. We've got the five-star play in the NBA backed by that 22-5 and five spot. I've got a four-star play in college basketball on Sunday. I am involved in final round action with the matchup in the PGA. We passed yesterday. We're back in action on Sunday. Uh, so plenty going on for me on Sunday. If you want, jump on board. We've been hot uh, for quite a while now in, in football and in pro football for several years. Uh, so if you want to jump on board, be sure to do so over on my homepage at DocSports. Dot com. Let's get to the free play for today. Check it out the total uh, between Tampa Bay and New Orleans. 52 just about everywhere. And we are going to recommend a play on the under. Here's why. First of all, listen, Tom Brady's trying to throw that ball downfield, try to do it against the Saints. It didn't help in either game that they played. They lost both by double digits, including that shellacking they took in one of the meetings, 38-3. to And when you look at what he does against New Orleans, against this number two DVO, DVOA, excuse me, rated defense his two games against the Saints passer rating below 60 in fact it was below 59 he completed just over 60 percent of his passes and had a very rough uh, touchdown to interception count so I don't think that this team needs to be trying to fire the ball downfield with Tom Brady I think what you're going to see is developing a run game now the hard part about that is you do have to loosen up a New Orleans defense that has been excellent against the run and on the flip side so is Tampa Bay's but you know New Orleans ain't going to fire away with a ton of passes here's one thing that a lot of people don't realize about the Saints they're one of the slowest uh, paced offenses in all of the NFL top five in that category this season and they're not going to change that up a little bit it worked twice against these Tampa Bay Buccaneers and they think it's going to work again but as far as I'm concerned uh, I do think the game stays under the total which again is right around 52 so a hey, third meeting of the year between these two teams they know what each other wants to do and I believe we're going to see a lower scoring game uh, than the books have posted so recommend a play free play on the under between the Bucks and the Saints on Sunday don't forget I do have a side in Sunday's NFL action plus that five-star play in the NBA college basketball PGA check it all out on my homepage over at DocSports.com if you like the videos click on the thumbs up button be sure to subscribe I'm Scott Sprites at DocSports.com let's put Sunday in the win column